My name is Tom Morello, and I am the Night Watchman. Uh, that's the, the moniker I began playing under almost 10 years ago now when I started uh, playing acoustic folk, political folk songs at coffee houses. I wanted to sign up under the name The Night Watchman so that the clientele of you know 12 people in the latte machine would not be asking for bulls on parade again and again and again. Um, and then it became you know, sort of the, the name under which I write my political folk music, and I've made t two records under the name The Night Watchman. A third one will be coming out this summer. The Justice Tour was founded uh, four or five years ago. It was, it was my idea to bring uh, a group of socially conscious musicians, or some who did not yet know they were socially conscious, but we forced into socially conscious work, uh, on a tour around the country to highlight different uh, uh, social justice issues in each city. For example, on the first Justice Tour, we picked an issue of import in each city. In, uh, in Washington, D.C., we visited uh, Walter Reed Hospital, veterans who had just come back from the battlefields in Iraq and Af Afghanistan, and we were taking a tour of Walter Reed by Iraq veterans against the war. Uh, in New Orleans, we uh, did work with uh, Sweet Home New Orleans, an organization that tries to bring musicians back who were ousted by Katrina. At each of these stops, the musicians would play a show that would uh, raise funds to benefit the local organization that we were supporting. And then on the second day, the musicians themselves would participate in that organization, get their hands literally dirty. And you know, it's, you know, there were so many great memories of the different shows we played from uh, you know, Ben Harper playing songs to children at a, uh, a Chicago daycare, Union Daycare Center. It's something that not only the, uh, the local organizations got something out of, from human support and the financial support, but the musicians, for us it was very life-changing as well, to enter these people's lives, enter these organizations, these communities uh, to do work. The modus operandi for the Justice Tour has always been feed the poor, fight the power, and rock the fuck out. It will be no different in 2011 when we turn our uh, lens towards the issue of independent media. Uh, the reason why this year we're choosing independent media is it's time for us to take back the narrative. Like on past Justice Tours, we'll be taking the you know our, our folk rock show uh, to these various cities to highlight these issues that are underreported by the mainstream media and bringing the indie media along with us to spotlight not just the tour, but the important issues in each of the cities. It's been the underwriting by Project Noise that has not only helped to amplify the message via the website, but also make the message occur in each of these cities by actually physically getting the performers there and taking care of the, all the ancillary needs so that we can focus on the music and the message. What donors will get out of the Justice Tour 2011 are two things. One is we're going to put a lot of wind in the sails of independent media around the country. And in turn, have those independent media outlets uh, shine a brighter light on crucial issues that are underreported in their communities. My hope is there's going to be a lot of very tangible results from it in each of the communities where we highlight an issue where we can help win. It isn't just to hey, check out this issue that you don't know about. It is, is to affect positive change. And whether it's philanthropic and helping people who are in need on the lower, people have been pushed down to the lowest rungs of the economic ladder by this recession, or whether it's fighting the power and standing up for social justice issues and people whose struggles are underreported. We're going to bring them to the forefront and we're going to stand shoulder to shoulder with them. Well, now you know.